Hi guys, welcome along. I'm Sarah from RT Fitness and today I'm going to tell you how I added a full dress size to my bottom. So at the beginning of the year I did start um, to try and increase my back size, back size? Backside size um, in preparation for our wedding in September and today I'm going to take you through one of the workouts that helped me get there. Enjoy. So yeah, at the minute I am going through um, my 5x5 five five squat. That's the big compound I do before any of the other exercises. Um, make sure you hit your depth. Don't push yourself to the point where you're going to kill yourself. Something else that will help you get through. Coffee. <laughs> Ideally prior to the session. So yeah, like I've just said, one of the most important factors when you are doing a squat is making sure that you are hitting depth. If you are only getting here, you're not engaging all of the muscles that you need to be hitting in order to get the benefits of it. You need to be here. Parallel or past parallel. So Ross, check me depth on this next one. <laughs> Thank fuck that's finished. <laughs> so the lunge. I hate lunges, I'm just gonna put it out there, but needs must when you want to grow your booty. So uh, I normally do between four and six sets of this, depending on how many Ross tells us to do. And if I'm left with my own devices, it's more like three. Full length of the AstroTurf all the way at the end of the gym and all the way back. How many am I doing today? I'm making them. Uh, five. <laughs> <laughs> so it's important to sit right into it, get your back knee nice and deep, nice right angles, make sure your knee doesn't go over your toe. So obviously one of the things that I haven't touched on yet is the nutrition side. Um, obviously it's all good and well doing all of these different exercises but means jack shit unless you are fueling your body right. When you're doing things like this, you are burning a lot of calories. I'm already quite lean as it is, so I wanted to put muscle on, which is no mean feat. So I was in eating 2,700 calories per day between January and beginning of August. So it's important to fuel your body because at the end of the day, you need that extra energy to not only do the exercises, but so that you are building that bit of muscle rather than just obviously staying lean. So as you can probably hear, I am gassing out a little bit. These really do take it out of you. And you'll also notice that I'm stepping through on my lunges. I'm not stopping in the middle and then coming back up. The reason for this is because by stepping through, I'm keeping all of my muscles under tension at all times. It's much more effective. I like feeling the uh, quad pump. It's not good to have nice toned legs as well as a butt. So I normally do 15 to 20 reps, five sets. Looks like I'm gonna have a shit. <laughs> The reality, look, everyone gets rolls when they sit down. <laughs> what? Uh, is that you eating in it? So the next one's a bit of a killer, it's the leg curl. So predominantly it is a hamstring exercise, uh, but it does hit the glute also. Get them done. <laughs> Happy place. <laughs> Bar off. 15 there. <laughs> Get the corn there. In the 15 foot flies from there. Make sure you're 
lift your shoulders off the floor to jails. Right. Well, that be back, back down to that. Like. Go back down to that. Didn't touch the floor with your feet. Back up, really squeeze in the middle. 15. Do that again. You just might have to watch it. I'm about to watch it. So, bottom half, it's I'm just, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. lifting that up. Top half, bring your arms out and round. Did you see that second one? I know what it is, aren't we? Just butterfly. Aye. Just think butterfly. It's a new favourite. It's a new favourite. Isn't it? Is it really? Aye, in 15 punch. Just think butterfly. Just think butterfly. Just think butterfly. And then you can rest. I'm sure you've just done fucking three different things on the floor. No. You've done the butterfly. No, I did 15 there, but then I did butterfly. Right. And then I did crutch. Right. <laughs> right. That one you've got more of a risk of hyper extending uh -huh. than that, because that's where I pull my abs and then I end up using that's why I made Ross buy that for us. So that says all there is. Well you know when to stop the leaving. So the next exercise is the calf raise. The reason why I do it standing is because whilst it predominantly works the calves, you are coming up into the hamstrings and the glutes as well, rather than the sitting down calf raises on the machine. So I'm going to do a minute up, a minute up, second up, second squeeze, one, two, three on the way down, squeeze, two, three. I know you can't see me calves because I've got my genie pants on, but uh, they are working. I'm going to do about 150 of these. One thing I'd recommend though ladies, don't wear heels the next day. Men, don't, don't, wear, wear, don't wear heels the next day. <laughs> Reason being is because your muscles contract. And if you put those heels on, at the end of the day when you take them off, you're not going to be able to flatten your feet. I've seen it, I've experienced it. It's not nice, it's hilarious like looking back, but it's not pleasant. I see people doing it all the time, is whatever ledge that they're holding onto for balance, they'll lean on it. That's taking away some of the weight. Fingertips. All you want to do is use it as a balance aid. You don't want to be taking half your weight because then it's, it's not pointless, but it's not as effective. So that's me done. That is uh, one of the routines that I've been doing to add a full dress size to my ass. <laughs> it worked. I got in my wedding dress, didn't have to get any alterations. Happy days.